In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this spitball sized potato cannon. Alright guys, so the parts we're going to need for this project, an old pill bottle, I just picked up a bunch of calcium at the dollar store, dirt cheap, fun to play with, some 5 minute epoxy, uh, while you're at the dollar store also pick up a little lighter, big pen, a 1964th drill bit, some electrical tape, and just some odd tools. So to start we're just going to drill a hole through the center of our cap, I've already marked it right there in the center. I'm just going to use a little drill bit to start it. And then use our 1964 drill bit. Get on center. All right, nice clean hole right in the center. So now we're just going to take our pen apart. Sometimes get lucky and grab onto the back of these. Yeah, we're just going to cut it a little short. No big deal. It'll just mean a shorter barrel. And what we're going to do is push that right through. Should be a really tight fit. Too damn tight. <laughs> Uh, I'll have to get a new cap. That's why I always grab a few of these bottles while I'm at the dollar store. Let's try that again. Alright, that went much better. Alright, and it's sitting pretty straight. So what we're going to do is epoxy that in place. Try to make sure it's nicely centered, so when you rotate it, the barrel stays in one spot. This one isn't perfect, but it's pretty close. And we're just going to mix up our 5-minute epoxy, put it around the seam there, and let it cure. Get our epoxy all mixed up. And we're going to put epoxy on the back side of it as well, just to keep this structure as strong as possible. At this point, grab the lighter, and this assembly is going to be different on different lighters. I just generally pull them apart, brute force it, and here we have the awesome, awesome part called the piezo electric igniter. Basically, a big spark generator. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's what we're going to use inside of here to set it off. And then the other thing we need is in the back side here. There's a screw you can take apart, but. Plastic so thin you can just rip it up. Here's the other part we're going to need. This is going to be our fuel tank to recharge it. That way you don't have to carry around hairspray or propane or whatever uh, some of the other people out there use for potato guns. Now as it comes you don't get much fuel out of these. You can hear that. But we're going to open this up by turning it counterclockwise clockwise. So we're going to open this up by turning it counterclockwise a few times. And you can see now it sounds about right. I'm going to cut these little side pieces off. So we're just going to use a poker to make a couple little holes in the body of it. Don't make these holes too big. You want it just large enough that your wire is going to feed through. And make sure they're on opposite sides of the pill bottle. So on the inside of the bottle you want your two wires to be pretty close together. And 
And now we're just going to use some electrical tape to secure this all down. The electrical tape also reinforces the bottle from exploding. Butane doesn't burn nearly as fast as some of the other fuels out there, so it's not as big of a risk. But having the extra reinforcement from the electrical tape makes this a little bit less dicey. Now I'm going to tape down the igniter. Don't go too crazy with the tape just yet because we still need to hook up our butane line. So if you look at this little part from the lighter, we're just going to pull this off and this will be our butane line. We're going to use our pokey bit again, poke a hole in the bottom big enough to fit your butane line. We're going to use a little section of electrical tape to keep the uh, tab on the butane cartridge. Otherwise it could just fling off and get lost. And then you're not going to have any way of actuating your butane. And we tie it on just like that. Now just hook that up. Look at that. <laughs> it works. So now we just got to tape everything together and make it look nice. There we go. We've waited for our epoxy to cure overnight, and now it is time to try it out. The world's fastest spitball launcher. Little burst of butane. Ha ha ha, that works great. And to reset it, all you have to do is pull the cap off, blow it out real quick, put it back on, little blast of butane, boom, ready to go. Alright, so let's put a little wad of aluminum foil in here. Oh, ran right out the back of the barrel. Alright, so we got it stopped right at the end of the barrel there. I'm just going to load that on. Actually dented a soda can. Two dollars at a dollar store and you can... Gosh, that was a real BB in there. It could probably really do damage. I'm gonna go a bit old school here. I'm gonna use a little bit of paper wadding. And ramrod that down the barrel. I might have gone too far there. I certainly did. So some paper rotting. We'll ram that down the barrel. And then a lead pellet. Let's see what this bad boy can do. Don't go through the can because my car is behind it. Did it go in? No. Uh, I thought it might have penetrated. Alright, it's not going to penetrate a can. But you can see a nice dimple there. That is amazing. <laughs> it would probably hurt pretty good. So as you could probably see in that last shot, this thing actually 
put a pellet right into the can. Doesn't look like it hit straight on, but that is awesome. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the project. I had an absolute blast building this thing and playing around with it. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Leave a thumbs up, whatever it is you want to do. Get out there, build one. Have a great, safe time. See you on the next video.